Hi, welcome to Kolsky Drones. Welcome back. So today we're going to have a quick look at the liftoff simulator that's available on Steam for FPV. So this is the main screen. As you can see, you can choose multiplayer, single player option, community and quit. And as you go further on, you can see you can choose tutorial, free fly, race, freestyle, workbench and track mode. The workbench is where you build your quad and get it to how you want it. So it's just going to be a quick overview of it with a quick little freestyle flight. But you're going to get the overall impression of how good this is. So this is the workbench, this is where you can choose a quad you want to fly, alter a quad, change the motors, change the props, pit, change the pits, get it to fly exactly as you like, so it's really good, really clever, and it does make a difference to the weight. So on this section, this is where you choose your transmitter. It will automatically accept an X light when you plug it in. And this is where you can set it up. Further on, you'll see me hover over buttons. And that's where you set up your flight modes and you also set up your arm switch. So you can adjust the flight modes as you'll see. So as you'll see, the image looks like it does through goggles, it, it puts the effect on you wearing goggles so it doesn't make the resolution look anywhere near as good, it's quite impressive, the better camera you've got on your drone the better that picture will look, if you have a cheap drone with a cheap camera you're going to look nowhere near as good as that, really really impressive, it does have some static as well when you're flying around especially when you're on the circuits and it really is as good as it can get.
Now this is the bit I can't get to work. You should be able to go onto Steam and take someone else's drone, as you can on a lot of other Steam products, and bring it into your game. But whatever I try to do, that when I try and create the collection, you'll see it coming up with an error on the screen. I've tried it about five or six times. It could just be something I'm doing, but it's just something to know. Overall, so my overall impression of this is fantastic. It costs 15 pounds from the Steam store. You don't need to have a stupidly fast computer to make it run and it does feel like you're actually flying a drone, especially when you're in the race modes. So, hope you enjoyed it and for £15 it's well worth it. If you've not got a simulator, this is the one to get. Thanks very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you do please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.